Yet again, Mackey Arena is a sellout. And yet again, the stakes are raised. More and yet condition again. and more confident Braden Smith. Get this, Michigan State. You, you figure with Sissoko, you're going to pick up another foul. So you pick up one with less than a minute into the game. So you're going to put yourself. Zach Eady draws nine and a half fouls per game, according to Ken Palm. Just an enormous number as that falls for Tyson. That's a buzzer to Ohio State when you kind of controlled that game throughout, but Ohio State made the run and closed it out with the W. Great defense by Lance Jones. Just tremendous on-ball defense. Hall fading away. Oh, no, I always sign my scorecard. Uh -huh. You know, I keep track of my score. Yeah. How truthful is it? Very truthful. Uh -huh. It's the only way I can keep my gin score up. Pull up for Aikens. So none can really get in foul trouble. This is going to be a tough matchup for Jackson Boulder inside. You can't even see him behind Zach Eady. Tom Izzo said, get low, and that's easier yeah, said. Athletic the other day, and part of that was about Edey as a young hockey player getting called for penalties simply because of small movements. As Where you make a small movement, you just fight somebody. And, well, I was going to leave that one alone. Right. <laughs> you have no choice now. Edey oh, because you said it first. Good oh, move. he got it to go anyway. And the Michigan State Spartans are not a high volume free throw shooting team. An enormous possibility for Michigan State. Walker the pull up and he is feeling it. He got lost and then recovered beautifully. He's making it really difficult on Braden Smith. I mean, really difficult. And Smith still. A little bit, you can have Malik Hall in there a little bit, but that's dictated kind of the wins and losses and the ebbs and flows of this Michigan State team. There is Xavier Booker. Yeah, especially he is able to make another one, which can free open, can free some space in the lane to drop. Braden Smith in high school, Booker and Smith reacquainting themselves here at Mackey. Booker again. Why not over Eadie? And now he's running a play for him at Purdue. Well, he is, and his teammates understand the work that he's put in. A beautiful pump fake that time by Trey Holliman finished. So we're going to bring him along slowly, and it seems to be paying off late in the season for him. Lawyer drills it for three. And he's at the Breslin Center last year. A little scoop by Holloman, and what a dimension he's in. When you can have a, a center that can bring Zach Eady out the lane, it opens up more real estate inside. That is a great find, Jimmy, and it's yeah. fun. He was a Steelers draft pick. Yeah, I know. In the late 50s. Yeah, how about that? Football player turned Hall of Fame basketball coach. And speaking about Hall of Fame. Dragging the defense as he does. They can really whip it around. Now it's stuck. And Michigan State got a hand in Holloman digging that time. They dig again. Lawyer a look away. And a three. Second lead tonight for Purdue. Hogard drops it off and it's spun in. Well, he's not going to post Booker up, you know, on Zach Eady. He's going to play him more in the perimeter, pick and pop. That was a rifle by Gillis into Eady, who spins out of the double. Just doesn't work. If he gets this deep post up position, no help is going to come. Xavier Booker. offense has been a challenge. And on the roll, you really need it, especially when you got a big fella inside scoring like that. To uh, create some space here. Yeah, but it's very important that Michigan State don't let go of the rope. I mean, down five right now can easily turn into double digits with this Purdue team. Oh, All Smith for three. Braden Smith also closing in on Bruce Parkinson's single season record for assists at Purdue. Morton stayed with that drive pretty well. Tyson Walker to go at him. Yep. Morton stapled to him. Walker coils into a three and got it. And you have him make it happen, even though he's given up inches. His quickness was able to create enough space At to get times. that. It is one of the best atmospheres in college basketball when you have a player like Brady. played seven first half minutes because of the two fouls. This is Lawyer from Smith. The formula for starting off in the second half here for Sparty. Malik Hall for two. I mean, shooter. Gentleman that can spread the court, but also is dynamic in transition. Now he's regulated to the bench. Everybody was smashed up against the end line, and then Jones comes up with some space and a back. Crowd wanted to travel. Yep. Walker the lob and the flush on the back.
of where Cooper is at. He's able to find the ramp. <laughs> That whole sideline looks like we're a couple weeks short. Mm. Edie, two and a foul, turning a big point. The beautiful post-up position. Oh, wow. Edie turns, fires, and rims it out. Gillis, Edie, juggling, scoring, and a foul. Is nimble as well as tall. Well, for 26 seconds, you play outstanding defense if you're Michigan State. Dynamic here at Purdue. Yes. Smith, no. Aikens the rebound and a little energy, a little surge from Michigan State. Aikens with a big surge to the rim. Two and a foul. He's got five in a row himself. He can jump out the gym. He improved his ball handling. Now it's minus three from the line. 19 of tips for Purdue because of Zach Eady. Travel got away with it. Yeah, right he there. did. He picked up that foot. Nobody whistled it. Eady's down to the ground. This is five on four if they hurry. Hall to the trailer. That's a three. Hogarth splashes right it around down. Around the same area with three losses in that. If they can finish it out strong, but yeah. Purdue a little bit sooner. And it depends on the big, too, his maturity as a basketball player. Hall, six. Two years, the record. For Purdue, Hogar had it pancaked by Edie. Oh, what a thread through by Smith. Oh, a block for him. With a couple of steps. One, two, bam, got it. Mm. But then in transition, it's Malik Hall sending the message. I think people look at it and say, that's all great. What are you going to do in the tournament? Yeah. You know, that's. Well, a three. Virginia roll. lived with it for an entire season, and they went and won a title. Purdue has North Texas, St. Peter's, and FDU as Aiken spins in a three. You know, Final Four. That changes the narrative, but this team is determined when the regular season Big Ten beautiful pass by. That's a beautiful. Give us inside. This is his 36th game with 20 and 10. Smith, way too easy. Coast mode. Timeout, Tom Izzo. In the bracket. Walker. Got it to sip. And, you know, Pete Maravich and that's men versus women do that. But don't, don't, don't attack the young lady. Beautiful play. You know what I mean? The entire game. It was plays down the stretch, missed free throw by Walker. And that foul was huge right there in regards to getting a stop, but yet sending Braden to the line. See, beautiful. Lawyer went for the Hogard Jones on his hip. He scores. Hogard makes it. Well, he shot clock. There it is. Edy double. Out to Gillis. Huge three. And for Purdue. Malik Hall knocks down a three. He tightened up the belly yeah. before the uh, by oh, it tips all. Smith sprints away with it and scores. It well, that's because his IQ has grown to another to this level here. Walker bumping into Edie. That's a tough shot over the top. Cooper got two. There's a clock operation situation as well. Braden Smith's going to walk it out. Michigan State will call it off. And the Purdue Boilermakers and all of these loud fans will celebrate another Big Ten title. 80-74 Purdue with a second straight Big Ten championship.